I'm going to say send this back over to ProjectWise because obviously I want this to get incorporated back into our ProjectWise online data. And so you can see we've already created a new package. If I scroll down to the page we are on, you can see my markups are in there. So anything that I put in there gets transferred over. Um, one thing that's helpful to do is also know the space that we're about to go into so I have a sense of it beforehand. You can see how this can be helpful for maintenance too, explore the space ahead of time. So I'm going to open up model that I have here. So this is just a floor plan. We've cropped it in, obviously, for uh, security reasons. So we can look at just the structure and MEP with architecture hidden here. And I'm just going to click on a point so I can navigate to a specific spot so I know where I came from. And so for me, I'm pretty comfortable navigating the models. You probably are too. But for a superintendent who may be using this, they may not want to navigate. So for them to just like a point and know that's where there's something that's pretty helpful. We can navigate through this, rotate through the spot. Um, you know, I can see a clash here. Clearly, we haven't done enough clash detection. So we're going to make a note that our lights are intersecting. I could rename this here so that we can save it as something. Obvious clash. A question mark here. So we're very standardized on that. So I have all that information, and upcoming functionality will allow me to push my markups back into the project-wise um, set that we created the package so that I can then push that information back onto, onto project-wise, not losing anything. What I will do is, is switch back over. Well, again, we're, we're pretending some things today, right? But the other thing you can do, which is nice, is so I'm in the room, seeing what's going on, I'm checking progress, and I obviously have to take my progress photos. So I'm going to switch over to my camera. Oh, am I block I'm blocking. So let's take a picture. So we're going to pretend that all of you who are blocked by the lights here, there we go. So we took a picture of our mechanical room. And what I actually want to do is just mark that up a little bit. Maybe I want to note some things that are um, different or, you know, to mark up some things that I haven't been able to barcode. However we want to do this, we, you know, various markups, but I can. Okay, lots, lots of tips. We're going to circle some things. We're super on top of this. We're going to do this. And then what I want to do is go back into project-wise here because I really want to add that photo in there. I'm not even going to rotate. And there we go. Save the photo. So this is our audience. Looking great. And so now that I have all my content set up here, we've gone for a visit and, you know, tested everything I need to do, taken my notes, put all my information in, I'm just going to uh, repackage this information, and we're going to just call this the 14th floor mechanical, and I'm just going to put my initials at the end of it so that the project engineer knows, so not my initials, so he knows that when he incorporates it, these are my comments. And then, of course, I can, this one, I'm just going to email that to my project engineer so that he has all of my markups and we're good to go. It's done. So obviously there's some new functionality for me that we're really excited about improving this workflow, seeing how far we can take things, but we're just really excited about where this is and where we can all take it in the future. Thank you.